Well, it's the first chance I've had to meet you. So, um, first of all, welcome to Bristol Rovers. How are you settling in at the football club? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Obviously, it's been tough, obviously, with the results and things, which is which is hard. But uh, you know, they're a great group of guys and, and made me feel really welcome and get on well with everyone there. To be fair, so I was really happy about that. That's the first step is 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 getting to know everyone and getting the trust of your teammates, and then of course. Hopefully now we'll start bringing in the performances on, on the pitch. I know a lot of Reading fans were disappointed to see you leave the club. So what made you leave a championship side and come to Bristol Rovers? Well, basically, I just needed more games. Like, I just I, I didn't feel like I was playing enough games for, you know, what what I feel like I can do as a player. I think you know when when I'm at my when I'm at my best and I'm at my most confident. Um, you know, I could I can do anything that I kind of put my mind to. I think so. You know, it was really frustrating thinking. You know, I had a good first half of the season. You know, just before uh, Jose Gomez, when the managers got sacked, um, I was I was flying and I was doing really well and I was happy with how I was progressing and I was kind of waiting for the next step, which would have been being in the team week in week out. But you know, it never come. You know, I had to go and speak to the manager, and of course, like I, I got lucky with with this like kind of happening for me. Obviously, I got a call, you know, from an agent saying about Bristol Rovers were interested in things, and and I was delighted. And straight away, I come up here and met met with Ben, uh, the the manager, and you know, it was it was a no-brainer from there. I was, I was happy to come. Yeah, because you're 21, but it just shows your ambition, really, doesn't it? And the importance of playing first-team football. You're certainly ready to do that now. Yeah, definitely. I, f I feel like I've been ready for for a long time, you know. And and the problem is, is it's always hard. I, I felt like being at Reading because I was, you know, I'd come through the academy and and I'd been there since I was the, like the age of six or whatever. It was like, kind of, you were the easy option for that not to happen, kind of thing. You know, I made my debut at seventeen, and then I didn't play again for like two years after that, for instance. So that was like really frustrating. Like even now to this day, it still frustrates me a little bit that I didn't like kick on and and do maybe what what I could have done. But no, like obviously always the utmost respect. I'm a, I'm still would be a big Reading fan now, uh, f like for, for the rest of my life. That's for sure. You know they they've done a lot for me, but I'm here now and I'm I'm excited about it. And I think you know when I when I get fully fit and I'm and, and I'm firing, you know I think I can I can do good things for this club. And we've already saw you play more than one position in in your two appearances. What is your best position? I don't know, it's hard, it depends what what formation we're playing, <laughs> wherever it fit me in to be fair, but yeah, no, I, I like to play in like the number 10 role, uh, you know, off the front man, but of course that like sometimes, you know, we change the shape and then I got on the left, which I've played a lot this season, I enjoy that as well, you know, it's kind of like a bit of a free role for me because I can, I, I feel like I can beat, beat defenders and also if I come in off the left and play inside the pocket, you know, getting on the ball and things like that, I think. I think yeah, just anything really going forward, anywhere, anywhere going forward. But yeah. And after a couple of home defeats, you must be desperate to earn your first win in the blue and white quarters now. Yeah, yeah, of course it's been really frustrating. Like, like starting the Stevenage game, you know, that was that was that was frustrating. I think you know we we we've got to start creating more chances, and I think that's obviously why I've been brought in to to do that. So, you know, I, I've got to play a big part in in. And bringing the goals and bringing the assists and stuff um, into the back into the team, you know, and I'll definitely be looking to do that from now on, and and I'm excited to do it, that's for sure. And presumably Ben Garner was a, a big reason you came as well. Um, we're all obviously hoping that um, his personal situation sorts itself out, really. But um, how big a factor was he in joining the football club? Yeah, big factor to be honest. You know, when I met up with him, I met up with him, um, you know, literally on the Friday, and then I signed on the Monday. You know, I met up with him and, and spoke with him for a, for a good time, bit of time, and. Yeah, he didn't really sell me on it. It was just, you know, listening to, you know, what he thought about me and what he thought I can bring, and then of course what you wanted to do with with the team and 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 I know it's obviously been frustrating with the results and things like that, but I think what he's trying to do and and what we know he's trying to do is 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 great, and and everyone should be excited, not just you know us guys, because of course the the fans and you guys don't really get to see it because we're out here training, but. Definitely, like going forward, when we get it right and, and we're doing the, the things that he wants us to do, I think is massively exciting. So, of course, we all, I hope and we all hope that you know it's always family first and everything's good with with his situation. But you know, 
obviously we just hope he comes back, that's for sure. Absolutely, and just meeting you for the first time, I'm getting the impression no fear at all going to the league leaders on Saturday. Yeah, no, of course. There's never any fear. There shouldn't There shouldn't be, you know, you, you've got a group group of lads there who, you know, everyone trusts each other and, and, and you know you know you're always going to give 100%. Every person on that pitch will always, always stick with you and, and you know, I'll do the same for any of them. So. And I, and I think playing for the for the club is a, is a massive thing. You know the fans are amazing, and and you know I got to see that last Saturday. I thought the fans were, were exceptional, and, and that made me really excited. So, you know, for us it's just about focusing now, working hard today and and tomorrow, and then preparing for the, for the game. Nice to meet you. Thank you.